with Chef Nicolas, Executive Chef of JA Resorts and Hotels. Hi, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And good. you? Very well, thank you. Are you ready to cook? I absolutely am. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so what we're going to prepare today is a ceviche of sea bream, mm -hmm. local sea bream. And we're going to do a little uh, salmon pastrami to go with it, which the salmon is organic. And then we're also going to do a garden salad with all the herbs and lettuce and vegetables that comes from our bio garden on the resort. I mean, it's really impressive. It looks so fresh. It was all freshly picked this morning. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's great that like, you grow your own uh, herbs yeah, and not, vegetables. Eight to nine months of the year we do grow our own. But obviously, weather-wise, June, July, August, it's not so... Uh, the hard herbs are the only ones that really survive mm. in the, the, the extreme heat in Dubai. Yeah, no wonder. But it's good enough. I mean, it's Absolutely. all organic. It's and it helps, healthy. it helps our cost. I mean, uh, we don't have to buy many of these items from the market. And it obviously it's sustainable. Yes. And whatever waste comes from the kitchen goes back into the garden, uh, natural waste. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then we just uh, harvest our own fresh, lovely herbs and vegetables. So many benefits. Okay, so which dish are we starting with? Okay, we'll do the ceviche first. Okay. Which I told you is the sea bream. Yes. Yeah, so this has been marinated in lemon, no, or no, not no, yet? Not yet. We're what, doing that. This will be completely raw. Okay. Um, what we will then do is we will just dice it a little bit. Okay, Ceviche, I guess, ceviche yeah. is normally uh, for any raw sort of seafood, um, just marinated with lemon, lime. I mean, there are many variations of, uh, of recipes. For this purpose of today, yes. that um, we'll do a raw type of fish, which is uh, just marinated, uh, which is the one aspect of the plate. I must say, this is such an amazing setting. It's like it's lovely. We use it so for our nice. guest cocktails uh, quite often. Okay. And it's a very popular venue. It's your amphitheater, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. So uh, some lime. Okay. If you can maybe put a teaspoon of sure. tomato, one yep. teaspoon of yellow pepper, one teaspoon of red pepper, one teaspoon of green pepper, one teaspoon of chopped chives, and one teaspoon of coriander. Okay. All really nice and colorful ingredients. Everything from the garden. Oh, impressive. Okay, so okay, the red pepper. Red pepper as well. And yeah. then. And then some chopped coriander from there. Okay. And a little bit of the mixed herbs. I just found out recently, and I've been cooking for quite a while, yeah, that you can use the fennel, the, the stalk of the fennel, as herbs, right? Absolutely. You know, you don't want to do it too much in advance. You can then refrigerate it. See, basically, we're just getting all that lovely color in there. We're getting all the, the flavors of the lemon and the lime inside there. Oh, yeah, and it a little looks bit beautiful of, uh, as well. A little bit of coarse sea salt. So this is organic salmon? Yeah, organic salmon, for example, uh, farm salmon, you will find up to 70,000 salmon in a, in a salmon cage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's not really a lot of space for the salmon to move around. Yeah, farm salmon has a very bad reputation, yeah. in fact. I was trying to look for wild salmon in, in Dubai, but it doesn't really exist, I think. No, it's no? very difficult to come by, very difficult. So for example, for this one here, we're just going to do a little... Okay, so this salmon here has been uh, cured for about 12 hours, mm -hmm. like I said to you earlier, in uh, some sugar, some salt, some orange, uh, lemon, lime, etc. I'm not going to give you all the ingredients, but that's what we do. <laughs> is it a in. secret? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then what we okay. normally do with this here is we have the whole sides and we have our own mm -hmm. smoker in the kitchen. Okay. So we home smoke it with some shavings, uh, apple wood or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, what cherry wood or whatever the case may be. So um, for this purpose today, I didn't smoke it. I just okay. cured it, which is perfectly fine for, for eating it like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard on top of the salmon. On top. Actually, I'm going to do it on this little cutting board here because I'm going to cut it later. Okay. So what we're going to do is just going to do a little bit of Dijon mustard. We want to spray it nice and evenly. Oh, nice. I, I, went, I decided to go the uh, the raw bar route today. Yeah. Everything Why not? Raw and fresh. I love nothing more than uh, raw fish. In fact. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spread all these little lovely herbs that's also coming from the garden nice and evenly. 
It's very finely chopped because we're going to slice it later. You'll see how we're going to present it. Okay. And we just want to push it in nicely in there. That looks really nice. <laughs> And so what would you say is the difference between these two cherry tomatoes? For example, this one here is a, it's called a pomery tomato, which has got a little bit more meat. Yeah. This one there is a cherry tomato, which is a bit more juicy. Okay, so it doesn't matter what color oh, it yeah. is, it's just but the, the shape is important. Is good, you know? These knives are so sharp. Yeah, you've got to be careful. They're really, really sharp. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice. You can maybe just chop that there for us. Can I grab that other knife? Sure. Okay. Okay, this is? Fresh celery. Celery goes well with fish, shaved fennel goes well with fish, the cherry tomatoes goes well with the fish, the basil goes well with the fish, the romaine lettuce goes well with the fish, etc. It's a perfect salad for fish. Love it. Seeds. Here, nice blue like the ocean, brown like the, like the beach. <laughs> a very suitable plate then. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take a couple of these whole little leaves here and stick it into the jar. We're just going to fill this here up with some little bit of all these ingredients. Okay. The reason I do it in the jar, you can keep it closed if you're in the fridge. It will last maybe for uh, two or three hours in your fridge. Even with the dressing on it? No, you should keep the dressing separate. Okay. Sure. Uh, and then you can just uh, squeeze your lemon and lime afterwards. So the ceviche should be fine now to plate, nicely marinated. See all the water that's actually come out from the from the fish. That's okay. because of the, that's because of the salt and the pepper and the lemon that you've mixed right. with the fish. It's actually extracting all the all the water from the fish. Okay. And I just want to try and get rid of. So we're just going to squeeze that uh, ceviche inside there. Okay, I need you just to do one teaspoon of that inside there. This is wasabi. Yes, wasabi, and then that's enough. That's enough, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is like the perfect summer dish, actually. Do you, do you recommend this course. as a main course, or is no, this something starter. like a starter? I mean, yeah, starter main course. If you can just hold that there mm -hmm. for us. Then the salmon pastrami that we prepared earlier. I'm just going to cut it with the plastic on. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And it over there. Wow. And you can put a few little bit of microgreens yeah, sure. on top of rice. Done. Completed. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. I can't wait to try it now. Go for it. to trying this now. Sure. I just want to put a little bit uh, of lemon and lime and olive oil. Okay. These are mustard over the other leaves that I didn't dress okay. earlier. So they're not just meant for decoration, right? No. <laughs> we can actually eat them. Mm. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Very fresh. 
Oh, it's so fresh, especially with the lemon. Yeah. It's delicious. Lift, lift it up. I just had a bite of fennel and basil. Yeah. I didn't even know that good. combination was good, <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It works so well. Okay, now let me try the ceviche. I actually almost don't want to destroy this dish. Oh, it looks so it. beautiful. <laughs> mm. Mm. Can I? Of course. <laughs> You're the creator of this Love masterpiece. It. <laughs> really nice. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. Delicate fish. Oh my god, it, it fits perfectly yeah. for ceviche. Okay, now let me try the salmon. What a combination. Yeah. Mm. Pure salmon with the wasabi and the herbs on top. So Lovely. good. And I like that the fish is um, room temperature. For some yeah. reason, the flavors come yeah, out more. Yeah, absolutely. When you refrigerate it, all the, all the yeah. flavor stays inside. You know? Oh, no, and it goes really well with the mayo wasabi sauce. And that's a combination I haven't tried yet, which I'm going to yeah. do in the good. future. Good, it's very, very simple. I'm going to continue eating this oh, afterwards. No <laughs> Thank Enjoy. you so much, Chef Nicolas, for Thank being on so the much. show. Nice to be with you. Thank you so much. Mm.